The Navita Titan XP Star Wars Collector Edition graphics card was just announced. Today we'll go over its specs, looks, and size. Let's talk about specs. It starts off with 3,840 CUDA cores. That's a lot of cores. 1.6 GHz core clock speed, which is very, very high compared to the clock speed of the 1080 Ti. The 12 GB of DDR5X memory, which will be extremely important for gaming. Also, the other thing important for gaming is its memory bandwidth, which is 547.7 GB per second. This is SLI compatible. Now, while the website limits you to only one pre-order of these cards, you do have the option of making an SLI setup with these. The, the resolution, and I hear me right here, the maximum resolution is 8K that these, these graphics cards support. That's the maximum monitor resolution they support, which is absolutely insane including the fact that right now 4K is not even fully in the market. This has a 250 watt power usage. That's right, it uses 250 watts for just the card alone. If you ever want to know, the max system temperature, or the max temperature for this graphics card is 96 degrees um, Celsius. Now, if you want to know what the looks look like, I'm going to have lots of pictures on here, so give me a second, but both the Jedi Order and the Galactic Empire cards feature a unique and new color scheme. The Jedi Order, coming in a lime green color, LED lit in a case resembling a Jedi Master's lightsaber. Meanwhile, the Galactic Order, coming in a cherry red color, LED lit, in a case remembering a Sith, or resembling a Sith, Sith Lord's weapon. The card is a blower style, inventing out the back of the case, but in my personal opinion, I think it looks very good. I mean, obviously, blower style cards don't necessarily get the best cooling, but if they were able to still get you know that high of a clock speed, especially in the Titan, I give them credit for that. Now you're probably wondering about size. Size, on the other hand, is going to be something very important as well because this card looks very nice, but if you're trying to fit it, you need to know how what what kind of options you have for fitting in your case. You need to um, you know custom mount it, things like that. So size, um, the height is 4.38 inches. The length of the card um, is 10.72 inches, and the width or the thickness is 1.75 inches. So it's probably about, I don't know, a big. So that's probably what you're looking at if you want to fit it in your system. Now, SLI will be um, insanely awesome for this, cause just because it looks cool. Now you're probably wondering, what is this? Di how is this different from the current 10 uh, or the current Titan X graphics card? I mean Titan XP, but Titan X graphics card. And you're you're probably thinking, well, wh why is this different? And you know, why should I even bother caring about this? Well, first of all. It starts at $1,200, which is, of course, a lot of money. The second thing is, this card actually has a boosted clock speed. It has a boosted memory um, threshold. It has a whole bunch of boosted things. Now, I won't say this is a, you know, it's basically like if you were to say the Titan XPTI. That's basically the summary of it. Yes, it doesn't have more video RAM, but it does have a lot more specs. So you get the point is, it comes in the, it, it kind of resembles the way that Navita does things, and this is more like the TI version of the Titan XP. So, if you did enjoy this video, we do lots of tech news reviews, news, setups, gaming, a um, whole bunch of, you know, tutorials, things like that. If you're interested in any of those things, make sure you guys check out our channel for a whole bunch of content relating to those things, especially cool experiments. I mean, for crying out loud, we put toothpaste on a computer and see how well it ran, which surprisingly, Turns out Jelly is actually a better situation for that. But of course, if you do enjoy these videos, make sure you give a thumbs up to this one if you did found this useful. And of course, we hope to see you guys around here some other time. So thank you all for watching. See you guys next time.